Very few people can look back at life and consider themselves a winner. Most of us are happy just to be survivors. What you're about to hear is a story about a thriver. In 25 years, this man has suffered one losing high school basketball season this season. In 25 years, this man has won 16 Wyoming Valley League Conference titles. He's won 13 District 2 titles. He's been in the semifinals of the state championships four times, the finals twice. He won it once. It all breaks down to 499 wins so far, roughly 80% of all his games. The team won all those, right? No, sorry. The players can win it one year, talent maybe two years, but 25 years, the coach breeds the talent over a period of years. The coach wins over the period of years. In this case, the coach's coach, Sil Bozinski of Nanticoke High School. Well, it all means that I guess I just happen to love the game of basketball. It, certainly it's not a, uh, the most financially rewarding on a high school level, but I love working with the youngsters. I love the thrill of the competition. Uh, Kevin, if I just didn't love the game, I wouldn't be involved, and that's why I'm still in it. To this day, I still get the kick out of uh, the anticipation of waiting for the next season. I love to see the kids on the street corners playing basketball. I love to walk down the playground and see the nine and ten year olds playing ball there. And I can't help but excited and move in with them and try to do a little off street coaching. That's a good question. How do you manage to turn out so much talent year after year? It's not obviously done during the basketball season. It's a year-long commitment. No, we have. We insist that they play a lot of basketball in the summer. We don't go with too many organized situations. We do play some uh, basketball games with other teams in the area in the Scranton area but we have a program in the summertime where we have them down there we work on flexibility we work on strength we work on shooting and we start the first step is in a semi organized situation on the seventh grade level they play basketball games but not in any league any league they're taught the fundamentals in an eighth grade we put them in a league and start giving them their first crack at competition and then gradually they work their way up to the varsity level if there were a baseline to underscore your coaching philosophy, what would it be after all this time? Hard work and fundamentals. That's the answer. Some have said, you'll forgive me for this, some have said that you are a great practice coach and a great chalkboard stat uh, tactician, but that sometimes in the game situations they say that that sometimes things get away from you. What's your response to that? Well, I don't know. Maybe they're right, but uh, those people that are saying it are approaching their 500th win. <laughs> okay, and approaching their 500th win and getting to that plateau, as you look back, recollections of great teams and great players you've had? Many of them, many of them. Uh, uh, my first year of coaching, we won the title in 55. In 57, we came back and won the first district championship for Nanny Coke in 26 years. In 61, we, uh, well, 59, we started our move towards the state title. We won 59. 61, we were undefeated going into the Eastern Final. The same team came back in 61 and won the state title. Uh, we continued on. 64, Joe Jimski, who up till Greg Manning and Kenny broke the record, held the state record, playoff record for individual scoring with 55 points. Uh, the 69 team were undefeated and we lost on a Steelton High Spire in that second half down there. Uh, just so many excellent young people coming through the program that, uh, Kevin, I can't pick out any one group. It was just a, a series of 25 wonderful years for me. I enjoyed every year of it. Some will say that you're tired of it. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I just got a letter in the mail the other day from one of our fans saying that the coaching record in the state of Pennsylvania is 749. Am I going to try to go after it? And if the good Lord spares me, I sure will. With the greatest respect, Kevin Lynn reporting for Eyewitness Sports.